You're going to want to remember his name, Travis uh, Brady, with the coaches, coach, and speaker. You are motivating people. You're getting people to get out of their comfort zone in a good way. The new year has got to be busy for you, right? I mean, people are on that New Year's resolution kick, and you're here to talk about rebranding and recreating yourself for 2020. Yes. Mm -hmm. First off, what, what does that mean? Anybody out there that's listening, what does that mean for them that should be coming to the screen, turning their volume up to hear what you have to say? What, what does that mean for us? Yeah, so we're always, we're always changing. We're always evolving. And so, you know, when New Year's comes, we're trying to fin find out, like, who do I really want to be in this new year? And so if you're not growing, you know, you're dying. And so I work with a lot of people that want to recreate themselves or recreate their brand through being closer to their identity so their company is a version of themselves. So, so where does that transformation begin and, and why does it start at the place you're going to tell us? Yeah, so transformation starts in your being and your, in your identity and your identity is the way you perceive yourself at the core level and so when we're, what a lot of coaching is is do this, I want you to do this, do this, however if we tell someone to do something and they have a contradiction in what they believe, they don't fully commit to that action of actually following through and doing it to have the result. So it starts here. So it starts, yeah, yeah. how you perceive yourself at your, at your deepest core of yourself. But, but why is it so difficult? This, I've, I've, I've been on these rebranding for myself and I'm like, man, this is so freaking hard. Yeah, and I've worked with a lot of companies and coaches and rebranding themselves, and the reason why it's so hard is because when they're changing, we feel like it's inauthentic to change who we are because there's all these people around us that know us as a certain way or a certain mm -hmm. being. So now when we go to change, we feel like we have to be what they want. We want to be what they think we should be. Yeah. Yeah. To, basically saying what, telling them what they want to hear. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But so, so I, I did struggle with a little bit of that when I started to change. I felt like, like you said, I wasn't being authentic to who I was, but not really realizing that that's just what people have known me for. Uh -huh. I really haven't let them into the real me. Yeah. Does, does that make any sense? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I believe deep downside, we all want love and respect. And so same thing with a company. A company wants love from their people and respect so people will buy their products. And so when we are trying to... Um, and we disrespect ourselves by trying to respect everyone else and think that their opinion or their way of being or doing is better than ours. And so now that, that's where we start to doubt ourselves and that confidence goes down, then our cells go down, you know, our being, our actions go down, go down along with it. Okay, so help me out with this one. Mm -hmm. So as people are trying to establish themselves to retrain, uh, to re a brand and recreate. Yeah. What are some coping things that I can help with myself? Because there's gonna when when, when I experienced it, there was mm -hmm. like a lull in my motivation. How do I keep that energy and that motivation up to make sure that I'm doing the right thing for this new change? Yeah, you know, with a lot of people that I work with is always getting our thoughts down on paper so we could actually see it. You know, we're always gonna think the way that we feel and so we could be feeling this way, then we're thinking this way, feeling another way and thinking this way. So getting it down on paper and start saying, okay, what are the things that I love about myself or about my company? And what are the things that I don't necessarily like and that I need to find acceptance in those and how do I evolve them into appreciating those things? What kind of help do you have for our viewers? So I have a, a 10 day Kings challenge. This is specifically for men. So if you go to thekingchallenge.com, it's a free 10 day challenge. And it's just starting that process, how to be a better influencer leader by really recreating who you are on the inside. Yeah. Thank you so much Thanks. for giving us the things we need to help rebrand and recreate in the 2020. We'll put a link on the website to make it super easy. If you need Travis's help, fox13now.com and click on the place.